and it's clear that there are families struggling, you know, and preparing for even deeper struggles because, first of all, petrol's gone up and that's really hit, and then you go to the supermarket and it costs more. I suppose I know what most people know from the news, really, so I think we've seen the cost of fuel um, in cars go up exponentially, so we're now at nearly £2 a litre put fuel in your car, which means getting to work has become significantly more expensive for a lot of people. Um, we've heard all the news about the cost of heating your home as we head into the winter, which again will put families under a significant amount of pressure and I think we are seeing in the country some people having to make choices about heating their home and getting food on tables. I think people were worried about dying with COVID. Now people are worried about more practical measures of do they heat their homes or do they feed their families? So it's a crisis in its own right. It's different and it's you know not life or death immediately. But you know a lot of people are feeling um, quite anxious and a lot of people are isolated because of COVID. And I think all that's doing is really compounding those feelings and making people feel quite desperate. And I think it's our job in the voluntary sector to keep people's um, spirits up and make sure they don't think that it is the end of the world because I think a lot of people do feel that way.